so we've got Howard Carter with us, who's an expert on preventing mosquito bites. And Howard, um, you've spent years researching, and based on your own experience too, where you've had some uh, diseases in which yes. you've contacted from mosquito bites. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for coming in. Um, so clear up for us what you think are the main misconceptions here. One of the main misconceptions uh, is that the mosquito bites at night, which generally mosquitoes do. And there's one woman from El Salvador that's saying she's so scared she won't go out at night, uh, she just stays under her net. But she'd be safe going out at night because of the Aedes aegypti uh, mosquito and Aedes albopictus, Asian tiger mosquito, both only operate during the day. In fact, it's worse just after sunrise and just before sunset. Those are the peak times for biting. So that is the times when people need to protect themselves. And it's the same with visitors going to these countries. I mean, Jamaica's the 24th country uh, that's now, uh, they, the virus is in. Uh, it's, and being pregnant, if you know you're pregnant, then you are much more attractive to mosquitoes for a number of reasons hormones, uh, blood, um, and surface area. You've got more, a bigger surface, so you've got more cells giving off carbon dioxide, lactic acid, and other chiromones. What, could you add to the guidance? I mean, last week when we asked um, uh, someone from, I think Public Health England came in last week, and we asked about advice to pregnant women or, uh, you, you know, who might have travel plans. And the advice was, talk to a health expert and then, you know, assess the situation for mm -hmm. yourself. Do you think the advice should be should be more hard line than that. Would you be saying to pregnant women, it's actually not very wise for you to go? The difficulty with pregnant women is that there it's a grey area as far as repellents are concerned because there's been no studies carried out on it's unethical. However, you know, I've devised this a mnemonic called cloak, which is uh, if they people carry out this, all people, then they shouldn't get bitten if they carried out correctly, which is C for cover up although mosquitoes can bite through um, genes even, these mosquitoes, that one's terribly aggressive, um, but if they cover up and spray on top of the clothes, underneath and on top, uh, L, wear light-coloured clothing. Mosquitoes are attracted to dark. I wouldn't dare wear this suit when I was in the jungle a couple of weeks ago because they'd be all over me and they could just take their time to bite me. Uh, and then O, odours, your bodily odour output. Be aware of it. Don't put on perfume. Don't um, put on, you don't use scented shower gels, soaps. They nearly all attract mosquitoes. So if you're using those, you're going to be uh, more at risk. And you can wash in certain like citrusy washes or products that are, are neutral. Uh, but it's better to the more you do, the, the easier it is. And then A, apply a, a very good a mosquito repellent, and you, which is either DEET, or even better is a PMD um, based repellent like incognito or there's other products on the market as well that do a good job. Um, the trouble with some of these uh, repellents like DEET, uh, mos this particular mosquito, um, Aedes aegypti, has built up a certain amount of resistance because it's been around a long time. But they haven't built up so much resistance to PMD, things like Citropel 75 and other products. And so you have on, uh, and then finally, okay. K, which is keep away from stagnant water. Now, this is uh, sort of pretty obvious, um, but if you can sort of, sometimes you cannot, and, uh, but you, if you can clear up water around you, then you're going to be have less mosquito population presence. However, you know, the Aedes uh, albopictus, Asian tiger mosquito, she likes to be in the garden. She doesn't go much, very much into the home. Uh, she's in the garden and she will sort of go into bamboo uh, water, even a little cup, the treetops and so on. And then you have the Aedes aegypti, which goes everywhere. They've followed humans around the world. And this is why it's such going to be a, a, probably a pandemic, because there's a super highway of Aedes aegypti mosquitoes all around the equatorial belt. So it will spread to Asia. There's no doubt about that. It's just a question of when. So today, I think that they will uh, announce the, the emergency because it's an extraordinary event. Uh, there's, also, um, there's also problems with fogging. You see all of the insecticide 
You're seeing that all the time. The trouble is with that, they've been doing it for 30 years. They haven't got rid of this, uh, these mosquitoes. And by carrying on fogging, they will reduce them, but the ones that survive will be fitter, and they will build up resistance pretty quickly. I mean, a female mosquito can breed every two weeks. Whenever somebody gets bitten, she's got enough blood to reproduce 200 eggs, of which maybe 100 will survive. You make a very good point there as well, because the, the World Health Organization, of course, is, uh, is meeting today, as we mentioned earlier, and we're expecting a statement from them, possibly in the next half hour or so. Mm -hmm. So thanks very much for underlining, and I'm sure there'll be lots of people listening with interest to the advice that you've given. Thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Howard Carson.